Because yeah. it's wide here. If you have to put on the on a long side pot, you have too many long parts coming out. And what I was telling you to Sander at Tom is when you collect the mugo, you have also always to think what you're cutting is always connected to the roots because mugos maybe not match the young one but as much they are older all the some roots are connected to the branches it's like junipers it's not like scots pine or black pine the trunk of the scots pine is all live line when you cut the branch you can make the gin and you can see still alive when you cut the a branch of a whole mugo, you, you're going to lose all the line vein connected. For example, in this case, there is a big root coming here, and probably this root gave uh, the energy to this part. So in future, all this part can be a gene. Also, here is an important root in the front going up uh, and probably is going to this part or this part but on uh, really old mugos you can see easily this on young one need uh, more time because uh, year, year after year on the parts uh, where is uh, dying uh, the light vein you can see the the bark uh, coming out uh, it's easy after this to uh, clean uh, the part. So I think it can be good to work this tree from this side, maybe cut away this part because in my opinion too much and keep this. Then this is going and unfortunately also this is going because uh, it's too long and can be really really hard to bend it. My idea was uh, using a front, maybe like this. <coughs> you can bend uh, this part to obtain a pad here, but will be all, always uh, a bigger pad uh, for a tree that have not to be much than 60, 65 centimeters tall, because. Uh, when we are able to bend this, this part, and maybe this, you can have uh, enough branches to make this as a normal compact uh, tree, you know, good size. So, you have a saw. I will not cut this part for now for keep the energy of the tree high for spring. In spring, when the tree start budding and the part we go to bend will start budding, in uh, June you can cut this part. For okay. now we will keep, we will put together, make uh, 
some white to also for the pitcher, and we work only with this higher part. Are you always keeping some kind of branches like this? For reasons, if this one See, will be dead, so the for safety. Will be for yeah, safety. Uh, it, it, more, more for safety is yeah, for have uh, energy. Because as I told you, tree need uh, green uh, to work uh, and to have energy to you know when you work a tree, when you collect a tree is uh, uh, what, uh, the, what, what is the English name? Uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, it's like when, when you are sick. To recuperate. Si, sí, exacto. Uh, to keep it uh, good healthy, you know. If you cut uh, right now all the stuff and you keep just the much, the tree need more and more time and you, look, and you risk uh, that is, is going to lose some branch uh, to survive. But when the tree is uh, vigorous. stronger, sorry, vigorous, vigorous, you see, vigorous. When the tree is stronger, can afford uh, in a better way what you go to do. <laughs> Never. But on the, the serious trees, it's okay. Si, the cedus perfecto. It's better also because sometimes you collect the cedus uh, on rocks. <laughs> but someone collects the cedus when it's clay. And always clay is better for the small yeah. roots to grow. Some people in France also collect the scotch pine in clay. But, uh, uh, and uh, they clean them. The, the the clay two years after the potting for the first uh, after the first uh, potting for the second potting they take out the tree and clean the the roots uh, with water but uh, after this they have uh, eighty percent survival rate can you can you inocul inoculate mycorrhiza si, in si, si. uh, so I, I buy every year some product uh, to improve mm -hmm. the we call Flora fungina is, uh, you know, uh, mycorrhiza um, population on the pot. You can give uh, as uh, water or some are like dust. Mm -hmm. You put just on that. This help a lot for the trees. Also because uh, you do it after collecting or no, never. I, after yeah, 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 yeah. I keep, uh, I keep. Uh, Mucos uh, without touching, no fertilization, nothing uh, for one year. Then uh, you can start give uh, fertilization. It's good for mucos, for example. After one year, they are collecting. Uh, you can give. Uh, we have uh, is uh, something like uh, fertilization for uh, the strawberry. Okay. The people who made this cultivation of strawberry have this organic fertilization is uh, something like small black uh, parts. Uh, yeah. You give like this. They have this uh, kind of uh, NPK, you know, NP Canva. Yeah. Good, uh, good numbers like Anamukoro or Biogol, but uh, is uh, under the times. Uh, less uh, expensive. Same. I buy big and then chicken shit. Like chicken shit, we like call it chicken shit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what about uh, uh, collecting mugo? Uh, the root ball in, in, uh, has a lot of uh, residue of, of, of the needles yes. and the uh, walk, uh, what do you call it? Water, water walk. The, the water cannot... Uh, Penetrate uh, the root penetrate. ball. Ah, this, this, uh, this Compacted, yeah. uh, uh, yeah. No. No. Uh, 
The move I collect, they live only on the top of the rocks. Mm -hmm. And they live only on their own dead needles. Yeah. And I collect them like with a saw, put in the pumice, and in one week they already have uh, white roots coming out from the original uh, root ball like this. <coughs> but I don't have this problem for the water, you know. They they bring water with the young problem. Yeah. Do you do foliar fertilizing? Not on mugos. Not on mugos. No, just on junipers. Okay. Sabinas uh, or my junipers, uh, juniper on the collection, they like a lot because they uh, uh, what, what do you call a squam, you know, the kind of, uh, uh, kind of yeah, foliage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These uh, keep, uh, bring a lot the the fertilization, foliage fertilization. Okay. Don't, don't. Can, can yeah. I hide it? Yes. I got here.